Tess Holliday joins us live now from New York. Tess, thanks very much for joining us. I mean, in, the way, in a way, the very fact we're talking to you, the fact everybody is talking about you, is evidence of how far we've still got to go in terms of changing people's perceptions, isn't it? Oh, 100%. I think this should have happened a long time ago. As I say, though, the fact that people are talking about it, you're the next big thing, if I can say that. We've, you know, it, it's, it suggests that this could be a gimmick. You know, we've talked about this for a very long time over here, and we've seen bigger models hit the headlines, and then they disappear, or some of them slim down in the end. I mean, are you worried that this is a sort of gimmick no. in a way, that you're being used just, just to create a moment, no. as it were? No, I've been... a Oh, no. I've been around for a long time. Just because the major media is kind of finding out about me now, I've been a professional model for five years. I've worked with David LaChapelle, Benefit Cosmetics. I've worked with Yours Clothing, who's a huge brand in the UK, even before I was signed with Milk. So, no, I, I mean, if it's a gimmick, I'm not aware of it. <laughs> but I've, I've worked for a, quite a few years before this, and I'm definitely not going anywhere after, after all this. <laughs> You know, where do you think so. this has come from in a way? I mean, we heard in the piece there that social media has played a really big part in your success. Is that right? A hundred percent. I mean, I, I, being my height and my size, and like they mentioned, heavily tattooed, I didn't have the opportunity to go into agents, into castings like most models smaller than me did. So the way that I built jobs and relationships was through social media. It was really all, yes, I wanted to be a model, but I really had no idea what I was doing. I had no idea that social media would change my life the way that it has. In a sense, though, where does this go? Because over here, Alexandra Shulman, she's the hugely influential editor of Vogue here. You know, she said in the past, she's bored about the argument about models being too thin, that basically magazines like Vogue are about dreams, that actually we as women don't want to see visions of ourselves on the front of Vogue. We want to see somebody who is perfect, who is really, you know, out of the ordinary. I've actually heard the opposite. I mean, I, I hear a lot of women, um, I mean, thousands and thousands of women from all around the world saying that they want to see women that represent them, that look like them. I mean, not only when they're buying clothes, but in magazines. We have so many images um, that are really, you know, um, misconstrued and we're, it's, it's hard. Women can't fit into the, the idea or the, or the box that society puts on us of perfection. It's, you know, it's not good for anybody, I believe. And yet some of your harshest critics on social media have been other women. I mean, why do you think that is? Women love to just <laughs> bicker with each other. What can I say? You know, I mean, there's a lot of reasons, um, you know, why people say things. But I like to focus on the change and all of the good that I'm doing. I'm definitely um, doing a lot more positive than the few people that are, like you said, possibly harsh. I mean, I, I'm, yeah. Tess, I'm really so. sorry. We're going to have to end it there. Tess Holiday, thank you very much for no joining No worries. Us. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody knows that if you want a modeling contract, you need to be tall, thin, and most likely teenage. But at 29 years old, 5 foot 4, tattooed, and a UK dress size of 24, this is America's next top model. No, of course not. Why this not? This is going to be an issue because people are going to go, well, she's too fat. But frankly...